I love my green. Hi, guys. It is Kualita Kualan and Amoya. And um, yes, we're building sister up. And we are happy that you've joined us. It is January the 17th. And um, you know, we come on and do our 10 minute topics on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Happy 2023. I almost forgot. Yeah. 2023 to those we haven't said happy 2023 to. And we're going to get into our 10 minute topic for today. The 10 minute topic of tonight is quick tips about not being afraid to speak on Facebook, YouTube, or any platform. I just say go for it. Um, you know, put your best foot forward. Don't worry about what anybody says. Sometimes don't even go back to read the comments because sometimes comments can be negative. Sometimes comments be can be okay also, but um, don't take anything personal because nobody truly knows you. So I just say go for it. That's a good I thing. say take a friend. Um, it's just like public speaking, but a lot less intense because there's no physical public in front of you. Um, just have fun. Just let loose, but not too loose because it is the internet and things stay on the internet. Um, and just be free. Just like talk freely and just just do it. You know, like the brand says, just do it. Just go for it. I mean, those are good points because a lot of people... Um, and this year, maybe last year, I'm pretty sure have wanted to start either a YouTube channel or selling clothes. There's a lot of people that sell a lot of different clothes. I'm trying to stand in front of the television so you can't see it. So um, a lot of people want to sell different clothes online or whatever you might want to do, you know, sell clothes, do public speaking, or um, also you might want might have want to look at me see bloopers too sometimes things happen just keep going or you might want to teach a class you know you might want or you might have some information to give someone you know or you might want to start your own channel just do it like you all were saying don't be afraid because there is a lot of times that um I've heard people putting out videos and then <laughs> they're doing well and then they go back and read the comments and they get discouraged and they take what people say to heart but you got to love yourself love yourself know yourself know that um what you're set out to do you're doing it to help somebody you know they always say if you find a problem what is it if you find a problem you'll never work a day in your life if you solve a problem, that's right, sorry. If you solve a problem, you'll never work a day in your life. So you can take that little tidbit too and just, you know, get out there and speak about what you know. Something else I wanted to say to come back to me. But um, be yourself, like you all said, be yourself, don't be shy. You know, glance through the comments. Sometimes the comments, they do help you with uh, what you have to say. Other times, um, they they can be a bunch of crap, you know? So be yourself, don't be afraid, um, do it. That's the thing, do it. Don't put off today what you can do tomorrow. Is that the same? That's one thing. Yeah, that's what you got Anything you say could be insane. Yeah, yeah. And, and that's it. another thing you go on and say something and it can become a thing but right. um, yeah and don't yeah. you know what too don't worry about what camera you have or um the light or the lighting because look the quality my lady, okay the quality i mean actually you should worry about those things you should but <laughs> as you grow as you grow and as you get you know whatever you're trying to get you know make money off youtube and facebook but as you grow and get that then you can buy those type of things you know then you can also watch other youtubers or other facebook live people and see what they're doing i wouldn't take exactly what they're doing but just take some tips you know you have to um 
be your own, be yourself. That's the thing. Be yourself. Don't be anybody else because no one else can be you. Um, don't be afraid and be authentic. Show your authentic self. Like us, you know, we're authentic. If we make a blooper, we make a darn blooper. Okay. And we're going to tell you, or maybe we won't, or maybe we will. But, you know, just be yourself. Talk, set a time. That's one thing, too. Set a time that you're going to um, stop make a YouTube video or stop or start and stick to it. You know, things get in your way, but stick to that time, do it, be consistent. That's another thing. Consistency is key. Um, be happy about it. You know, if you're sad, you know, if you want to tell people you're sad, say that too, but then don't stay there. The pastor said that if you're sad, don't stay in that sad place, jump up and be happy. Cause we all have something to be happy about. Speaking of, we all have something. Um, you want to make sure you do have something, but everyone has a story to tell. Everyone has something to share. So when you go on, um, one commenter is saying, I think it's it's Wanda Ali. I think I saw her say, um, be familiar with the content that you're talking about. And uh, that's that can come from the same mother knows best because Wanda is also mother. So um, yes, be very familiar, but just have something to say and once again everybody has something to say or share nobody has nothing to say or right. share you have some kind of experience in life you woke up one day you were birthed yeah. one day and you have experience with that and if someone gets on youtube and puts a comment and says you know you don't know what you're talking about don't worry about what they're saying because trust me nine times out of ten they're just saying that because they wish they could be the person that's talking. So don't worry about what people say. You keep your uh, head up. You're beautiful. You're handsome it's, regardless. It's interesting enough, but um, can every fact be disputed? So if you, I mean, there's professionals that study things and research comes out on those things that they study, right? But you as a an amateur novice, do you, you don't know everything in the world, right? right? So you go on and say something that may or may not be true that you perceive as facts and someone else can rebut that. But don't be afraid to just say it and say, hey, I'm not a professional. Just put your disclaimer in, but say it. You know, somebody can come and refute it. You can just start a chain reaction of topics from what right. you believe, you know? But right. don't, don't start like nonsense, like things you know have no perception of truth at all but just right. say just just talk about things just share your opinions and your ideas someone is interested in it that there's really? at least one person out there is interested in what you have to say your voice can be heard that's true the smallest thing you have to say someone can learn from it if it's positive more so more so positive you know negative let's leave that out but positive things, someone can learn from it. So everyone has something to say that's positive. So just, you know, if you want to start a channel or whatever, we're not professionals, but we're, we're learning, you know, and we're happy at what we're doing. So I forgot what I was going to say, but go ahead. Hmm. Well, even if you think it's the smallest thing, even if you think, oh, I just, I just know how to make, um, what is the melted cheese sandwiches? What are those thoughts? Grilled cheese. <laughs> grilled cheese. I, I only know how to make grilled cheese sandwiches, but everyone tells me I make them the best. I mean, I don't know. If you if you say stuff like that, go on and tell us how to make a grilled cheese sandwich that everyone says you make the best. You know, even the littlest thing can be the biggest earning things for you. Yeah. Chris That's said it's a, oh, Chris go ahead. said it's a good way to start public speaking. Helps you mm -hmm. get the jitters out. Um, and I got some more comments here. Um, you will be building a thick skin for a brighter future. And Wanda said, ladies, you look beautiful this evening. Thank you. And um, Thank be willing you. to take the good with the bad is what Chris said. And Ashley says, hi. Hi. Yeah, I mean, yeah, anything you can think of, someone is probably interested in that topic. So just... Uh, how do you get over nervousness when public speaking? Um, you just have to jump right into it or take a class. 
Um, some people get the shakes and the jitters and their voice starts to quiver. But um, just talk through it. I think the more you talk and the more you're familiar with um, your material without looking down, the better um, prepared you are. Well, and I yeah. should say the better prepared you are, the less nervous you might be. Right. The more you do something, uh, the better you get at it. And that's with anything in life. Like your, uh, what did you call it? A grilled cheese. Well, it's grilled cheese, but what did you call it? Melted, melted cheese. Melted <laughs> cheese sandwich. Yeah, just like the melted cheese sandwiches. You know, Kualina had to keep making those melted cheese sandwiches and they became grilled cheese sandwiches. See that? She had to keep trying, you know? Yeah. That's why she's saying she's the best. Yeah. Ladies, what's some of the most nervous things that have happened to you or embarrassing things, I should say, or humiliating even when you had to give like a public speech or even well, a speech in front of class? Hmm? I can actually go. I was in um, junior college and I got so nervous. It was my turn to get up and speak. I was the first one to raise my hand and say I wanted to go. So I stood up in front of the class. I was prepared for my speech and everything. And I looked out in the audience and I turned to my professor and I said, I can't do this. I'm scared. Mm -hmm. And she pulled me to the side and she said, you better not ever in your life get up in front of anybody and say that. What you have to do is keep going. So that was the most embarrassing um, situation. And your teacher, and the tip was not to do that again? Never let them see you sweat, basically. Okay, okay. Uh, most embarrassing moment. Um, and I know sometimes, and when I publicly speak, sometimes my voice could um, quiver. Um, and I turn red. My face turns red as well. So mm -hmm. that can be quite embarrassing. Yeah, I would say the thing that happens to me when I first started public speaking, I mean, I, I don't think I get nervous like at all anymore because of me. Like, I think <laughs> going in front of, if you have to speak in front of a fort, you'll get over that real quick. But um, I think the most nerve wracking thing that happens to me is definitely the voice quivering and, um, using the bathroom on myself. No, I've, I've never used the bathroom on myself, but um, lots of people actually do get that nervous and run off stage or cry even because it's a real thing. It's, a, it's stage fright. So, yeah. um, but in my case, the most, the only thing that happened to me was definitely the quivering voice. But once again, I just kind of talked through it and I, I was told, I was taught to not look at my card so much not look down so much but just like talk have a conversation even though no one's actually talking back to you at times but talk like you're talking to people or look someone in the eye or just fo have a focal point to ensure that you feel comfortable or imagine everyone else in their underwear have you all done that no <laughs> I've been told to do that but I never actually um did it i'm thinking how can i yeah. look at someone like they're in their underwear what is that supposed to do they're still standing in front of me <laughs> you know so the best thing is to i would say take a deep breath um so I talk look, slow if you talk fast you talk slow yeah because if you talk too fast you know people are like what the heck does she say you know talk slow get up there and say what you have to and don't be afraid. Sometimes you do get stage fright, you know? You can uh, tongue tie your words all the time. But if you do and you see somebody laughing, just keep going, because trust me, everyone has made a mistake. Don't be afraid. And I think that's what holds a lot of people back from doing YouTube videos, from uh, doing um, Facebook Live videos, fear. You know, fear can hold you back from a lot of things in life. So we Ashley gotta said, that. presenting my project at Akron U, um, Kira said, logically, one of the simplest practices is talking with yourself in the mirror. And I think that's a great tip. Having conversations with self that would intrigue you to develop further discussions. And I think that's great, too. Just talk to yourself, look of at yourself, course. look at your facial expressions. 
Um, he said, if the topic was presented to you by someone else. So I think those are, are great tips. Wanda said, um, I was tossing. I was tossing that. I was tossing, but no sound came oh, out. She was talking and no oh. sound came out. Yeah, that's a, a oh. severe stage fright symptom. Yeah. Oh, yeah, <laughs> it is. Especially, um, you know what <laughs> makes you feel better, too, if you're speaking in front of an audience? If people ask questions, you know? Yeah. You got to keep questions. Right. Yeah. You, um, you have to make sure you keep their attention spans, too, because if you right. feel like they're zoning out, maybe you get even more nervous and more embarrassed or humiliated. But put a joke in there every so often or say, ah, haha, smile or something, you know, do some kind of right. facial thing. Um, don't be fidgety, but do something that gets you comfortable. Keep something yeah. in your hand even that keeps you comfortable. Yeah. But definitely a good practice suggested by Akira mm -hmm. is to put your best foot forward first by talking to yourself in the mirror. That's the best mm -hmm. practice. Yeah, he said it also helps you to articulate your, yourself better. Yeah, I actually did that. Um, I, I did that before I had to do my first one of my first appearances. So, but yeah, we were taught to do that. So yeah, yeah. I've been to uh, some public speaking, and some people got up and said, "You know what? I was a little nervous, but I said, hi, dog, I'm gonna do this talk.'" And I know by them saying that the audience was laughing and everything, that made them feel better. So sometimes, you know, if you tell people. I don't know how true this is, but this person did it. If you tell people, hey, I'm a little nervous, but I'm going to talk anyway. We're going to have fun. You're going to have fun. And we're going to get this going. Mm -hmm. And yeah, you know, make a little joke and you laugh about it, you know, and you say, hold on, let me get some water. Y'all keep talking. Let me get some water. You know, say something to make yourself feel comfortable. And then you keep rolling. And before you know it, be like, whoo, I didn't spoke my hour. Now let me get yeah, I went mind. over. Cause you wonder, like, how do how do preachers or teachers, not teachers, teachers are different, but preachers or uh people who are just public speakers, influencers, how do they just how are they so comfortable? How do they gaze at us and maintain our attention? You know, right. but they may actually have alter egos. We know yeah. a few performers who have alter egos. So right. get your alter ego on. Ashley said, after you get finished, you realize it wasn't really that bad. Yeah. And Wanda true. said, break the sound barrier. That's yeah, true. true. Yeah. 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 Those That's are all true. good tips. Oh, you know what else you can do too? Um, if you're doing public speaking, I really think if you call somebody up in the audience, and say, hey, would you like to come up for a demonstration or something like that? You know, if your speech, if your speech calls for that, that might help you feel better too. You know, just do anything, just think of different things that's going to make you feel comfortable so you can get through that speaking. Because some of sometimes public speaking, they'll pay you money for them, you know. Or engage in the audience. Right. Try to engage in the audience, um, ask some questions, make it more personable. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm And don't feel that you like how I pause there. Yeah, you have <laughs> our attention. See that? Mm -hmm. See little things like that, you can catch somebody's attention. And then you'll be like, well, everyone's looking at me. Then make a joke. Then that's that going. was that's actually an example of maybe of breaking the sound barrier because we heard a constant. Yeah. Um, range of your voice and then we heard silence and we're like what what's going on mm -hmm. and we looked at you yeah little examples and you know at that time maybe I didn't know what to say but I caught your attention but then I brought it back you know what I'm saying so just do whatever you can to make yourself feel comfortable yeah how do you catch your train of thought if it runs away right in the middle of a speech you I was just to be honest and say you know what what was I saying? I, who tell somebody tell me what I engaged where I left off at? Y'all ain't paying attention. <laughs> so that's what I engage the audience. <laughs> y'all don't hear me. Pastor say, you know what? Y'all not hearing me. Y'all not even paying I'm gonna attention. I'm going to talk to this side. Go to someone else. Right. I'm going to talk to that's this true. side. That give you time to gather your thoughts. <laughs> right. Because the left side is laughing at you. That way you feel comfortable. Like, okay, I got their attention. So you can pick up on stuff from pastors. Maybe that's why they do that. Maybe like, I'm going to go to another church. 
<laughs> you're sitting there laughing but you know maybe they forgot what they were saying true all right this one was a good one i hope that we definitely had a lot of tips to share and i thank you for all of the our family our basset family um you all who tuned in to us and listened to us and also commented and shared some other helpful tips if you missed this live and you go back and you watch the replay and you want to share some helpful tips that could help somebody leave them in the comments below let us know um this, these are helpful for us too even though we do public speaking sometimes these are still helpful for us but as always remember to build bold build better build brilliant build a brother up build a sister up <laughs>